Hey, Parks, uh, what's it like being one of the floating dead? It's quite peaceful, actually. Quiet, no noise or distractions. Certainly no violence, no wars or fighting of any kind. Frankly, it's boring the phlegm off me. I hate it! I want a new clone body! Ah! <laughs> I almost feel sorry for the poor guy. Almost. Now would be a good time to tell me about that ace up your sleeve you mentioned. Octopus loins I'd almost forgotten! Crypto, you're a genius! Using Pox Lab, I've created a new virus that will infect and kill the Blisk. Catchy. Let's hope so. I've arranged for it to be delivered to the moon by a new courier company. Oh, what's the name? The North American Shipping Association. Anyway, everyone calls them NASA. You wouldn't believe the cost of shipping to developing galaxies. I should mention, though, there have been some... Uh, complications. Give me the scoop on this virus. Uh, it's been a while since I had a flu shot. Super Retrovirus OMGWTF. It attacks the Blisk on a molecular level, causing spontaneous cellular combustion. Poof! No more Blisk. Okay, I'll buy. What kind of complications? The delivery men are refusing to land without clearance from their boss. A fellow called Houston. They're just hovering there waiting for orders. And let me guess, we're gonna give them those orders, right? Exactly. Yeah, I'm a regular rich little. Okay, let's get contagious. Again? Whenever it goes down, it takes our entire communication system with it. Now I have no choice but to use the calm towers to communicate with spacecraft. How am I supposed to work under these conditions? Not enough calm towers are active, Crypto. The signal isn't strong enough to reach the lander. Oh, I can't. Good work, Crypto! All of the calm towers are now operational and sending the Nothing must prevent that signal from being transmitted. Nothing! Do you hear me? Crypto, those scientists are turning off the communication towers. If all of them aren't active, we won't be able to send a strong enough signal. Crack Stay those on. eggheads and get those towers up and running. Dynamic! <laughs> you mess with oh. all on that! What you gonna do now? Go bananas? Take that, you bunch of monkey monkeys! Go, go, Gastro! Ah. 
wants crab legs for supper? Look at here!
One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. That's it? What? One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind? Seven months and that's the best you could come up with? But you didn't like it? No, I didn't like it. It's crap. Where'd you find it? On a cereal box? I thought it sounded profound. Profound? You wouldn't know profound if it hit you over the head with a Camus novel. You think Merv Griffin's a deep thinker. Listen, mister, I'm getting a little tired of your lip. Oh, yeah, Commander Big Shot? What are you gonna do about it? Well, the plug on this mission, that's one. Sorry, Houston, but I can't work another second with this jackass. Get in the car. Get in the car. All right. Oh. <laughs> 